What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another tweak video. We're taking a look at Big Sur Center. It's a control center replacement as you guys can see basically uh, everything that you can get in the normal kind of stock control center um, you can get with Big Sur Center and it's a different style. It kind of matches the Mac um, Big Sur kind of look and feel and I think it's really cool looking and uh, it's very functional as well. So if we go ahead and jump into settings here. Uh, these are all the configurable settings for Big Sur Center. Uh, I do want to quickly just go through this. I mean, with these, you can, you know, force touch on the modules. You have your normal kind of expanded views. Um, you have your power module here. So if I want to quickly respring, I can literally just click that button and it will respring my device. And I think this tweak looks really cool. I know some people are going to be like, well, where do you have Prism? Well, I know Prism's cool, but this is just a different style. Um, and I think it looks really cool. And then same thing for the brightness here. You can force touch on that. Same as with the volume, you can force touch on that. And then you have all of your modules down here at the bottom, which are customizable. I'm not sure why that's on. Um, I had that turned off so it looked nice, but let's go into settings here and go to tweaks and go to Big Sur Center. So there's actually a lot of um, settings you can adjust with this. You can really make it look custom. Um, so I'm going to kind of go through each and everything that it can do so you guys know. So you have your on off switch at the top. I like tweaks that do that. You have your respring button. That way if you make changes, the changes will take effect. You have your preferences here. So you have your three favorite modules. And as you guys can see there, right there, and they're kind of a different style than all of these modules down here that are just kind of the square. So that, that number one. Um, module is kind of expanded and it looks really cool and as you can see I have that set to do not disturb um, and of course you can customize these modules to be whichever ones you want to use uh, just by you know deleting one and then adding a new one if you want to change it um, so you have that section there and then you have the ability to arrange uh, all of the modules in Big Sur Center um, so as you can see I have my power module at the top and then connectivity and favorites brightness, audio, and then now playing, and then all of the rest of the modules are below those. And that correlates to basically how this is laid out. And as you can see, the rest of my modules are at the bottom there. So you can arrange it to be however you want. Next up, we got the customization section here, and this is actually pretty vast. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it, and you can really change the look of Big Sur Center. So you have a quick expand Wi-Fi Bluetooth. You can have a slider percent label in the brightness and volume. You have a continuous module corner. You can run idle start instead of rebooting your phone. Um, I should actually probably turn that on because it's pretty smart to have that on, especially when you're running Uncover or Touring, because rebooting it would kick you out of the jailbroken state. And then you have your media module here. You can hide the AirPlay button. I turned that on because I didn't like seeing it down in the media module. You can hide the, re the rewind button. You can hide media module when inactive. So if you're not listening to music or any, any media like a podcast or anything, uh, the module will not appear there. You have an alternate airplay position, so you can move that around if you want to. Um, <clears throat> you have status views here. You can, you can hide the battery percentage. You can hide the battery view, and you can hide the time. And basically that means at the top of Big Sur Centers, you can see there's the time and the battery. So you can, you can hide those if you don't want those there. And then you have full control of the appearance here. You can have it be in light mode permanently, dark mode permanently, or you can have it be dynamic based off of whatever your device is in. So if it's in light mode, it will stay in light mode. And then when it switches to dark mode, it will switch on its own. So pretty cool. And then you can change the slider style here. You can use the iOS or the Mac OS style. I think that the iOS slider style looks the best. The Mac OS style is a little weird, and I think the iOS style just kind of matches the rest of uh, Control Center much better. And then you do have a background corner radius here, so if you want things to be more square or more rounded, you can fine tune each one of these. So it's gonna be the background corner radius, the module corner radius, and then the slider corner radius. So you can make it more circular or more squared off, depending on what your preference is. And then we do have full control over the colors down here. So you have global colors, you have light mode colors, and then dark mode colors. So if you want light and dark to be independent uh, to change colors, you can do that. Or you can just change them all here. So slider color, slider background color, module background color, and then selected module color. 
And if you select on these, as you can see, it's just a, um, a color picker. You can basically pick any, any RGB color you want really handy. So full control over the colors, which is really neat. And that's the customization section. So that's, there's a lot of options within there. And then you do have gestures. I like using the lower right because I think it just makes sense. I wish iOS would, would implement their control center to be like this. Um, I think it just works better to have it there, but you can have it be stock. So from the upper right, you can have lower left, or you can have it be both lower left or lower right. And then swiping up on the middle, obviously just closes the application. You also have a presentation style, so you can have it present fully expanded, meaning it will just fully expand like this when you open it up. And then you have your presentation speed here. You can make it be slow. Default, I like faster. It works really well. And then you can have it be lightning fast if you want it to open up just super quick and not wait for it. Uh, and that's basically it. Otherwise, you have some information about the developers at the bottom here. Uh, like I said, a ton of customization with Big Sur Center. Um, I think it looks really, really cool on iOS 14. It's kind of a, you know, a nice new control center. I do like Prism. I know people are probably going to mention Prism. Prism is still a great control center tweak, uh, but this is just nice to have to switch it up a little bit, to have a different style, to have that Mac Big Sur style. So I will leave all of the package information down in the description for those of you that want to check it out. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this tweak review. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.